deep seabed mining will, you know, essentially be the nail in the coffin of an already dying ocean. There's new discoveries all the time, you know, and deep sea bed mining will absolutely destroy the ability to go make those discoveries. will have far-reaching effects, not only to the ecosystems directly mined, but the ecosystems throughout the water column. Um, this will affect biodiversity and also ecosystem services like our oxygen production. And as many people know, uh, our ocean produces every other breath we take. You know, one of the problems with deep sea bed mining uh, and what's very concerning is pro mining interests are pushing for mining under a guise of a green renewable energy future, where in reality, we know all too well that greenwashing actually doesn't solve the climate crisis. In fact, it's only getting us farther away from our climate goals. So we really have to ask ourselves, do we want to keep mining for new metals and destroying these remaining pristine ecosystems? Or do we want to recognize advancements in technology and that metals are recyclable? Hydrogen fuel cells have come a really long way. Uh, one really key component is that we have to move to a circular economy and that does take recycling technology. If I believe that we could solve the climate crisis, um, then I also needed to believe that there was something I could do or that there was something that could be done to stop deep sea bed mining. And ever since getting in this space, um, there has been a lot of momentum and it's also shown me that it's not a done deal. 